Hi, my name is Asim and I'm an architect. I'm the founder of the architecture firm Archicodes and I have done my Master of Architecture in Advanced Architecture Design from Mumbai, India. I'm also an instructor in Grasshopper and Dynamo, both of which are virtual scripting programs inside their respective softwares. What we are going to look at today is Bgraphy. It is an online computational designing tool. What is computational designing? It is an umbrella term under which several other disciplines come such as parametric designing, generative design, or even algorithmic designing and many, many more. So without further ado, let's get into it. Firstly, I'm going to explain what computational designing is and how is it different than the conventional designing that we are doing. So normally, the way we draft on computer is through creating lines, objects, and these are static. That is, we create a line and then it stays like that. Um, also, it is very graphical approach where we are literally clicking on the screen where we want the line um, for the walls to be placed, even in 3D uh, softwares. So how we do is um, we, when we type a command, for example, in AutoCAD, we type a command line and then enter. The computer asks us for the input where we want to begin the line with and where we want to end the line with. So let's say we've got a point, consider this a point. And so this will be the starting point of the line and then there will be the ending point of a line. And instantly the computer will draw the line for you between these two points. Uh, how computational designing works is slightly different. It is more raw, it is more um, to the basics, to the, we, we go towards the fundamentals of um, commanding a computer. In this case, there is no graphic uh, clicking involved. We are talking to the computer. We are saying that create a point at some location, then create another point at some other location, and then create a point, uh, sorry, create a line. How do we define these locations? We can do that by the Cartesian coordinate system. That would be the x, y axis that we were taught in the school. So let's say this is the y axis and then this is the x axis. So this will be the origin. Just to recap, the origin is defined as a point with coordinates 0, 0. And if I want to have a, shape, a point over here, let's say, which is on this line. And this is like one unit away from origin. This will become one comma zero. I'll just write it inside the point itself. Similarly, if we have another point, which is same distance to the right, then we have two comma zero. So this is how we can tell the computer without actually graphically pinpointing the location of the point just by um, talking in numbers that I want to create a line between these two points from 1, 1, 0 to 2, 0. You will uh, understand this much better when we go into the bgraphy and actually do this. And yeah, so the computer will uh, draw a line for you from here to here. So we haven't clicked anywhere, it's just um, orally we have told the computer um, where the line needs to be drawn. So bgraphy does not require any installation. You simply go to your browser, type in bgraphy.com, log in, log in using Google or however you want to do it, you can sign up. And uh, once you have logged in, like you can see our name here, go to this editor. Also before this, um, there are several things that you can also explore, like frequently asked questions, blogs, which have got really good uh, information and blogs. Marketplace, there, there are many free models, parametric models um, and paid models, where you can even post your own models and buy models, download them, um, so yeah, it's very, very interesting. And then there is the editor, which is also this, the same thing. 
here is where you're going to create these uh, computational models, parametric models. So when we click on the editor, you will see this page that pops up. For you, it will be completely blank. In my case, I've got this testing uh, model. This is where all your creations, all your scripts will be stored. And let's create a new model for you. Let's name the model Hello World. And as soon as you click Create, it loads for a while, and then this screen should pop up. And very soon, by the end of this, you will be creating your first scripts. Um, you are also seeing this mouse that I have, that I'm moving right now. This is an OBS feature. This is just to show you when I'm clicking my left uh, button and right mouse button, and when I'm scrolling and stuff. So that will help you understand better. And also in this entire screen, behind my camera, there is nothing except for this small uh, help chat thing that you can use if you want to ask anything to BGraphy. So yeah, this is our screen. This is called a canvas, all these dotted thing. If you, you can zoom in and zoom out using the scroll, this will be the canvas. This is where you're going to put in your scripts and I'll show you what I mean by that. And on the right, top right uh, window, you can see this um, 3D space, which you can morph. And in this also, you can zoom in and zoom out. This is where the outcome of your script will show up. The model will come up, the 3D model. If you click on left and drag, you can rotate it like this. And if it is right click, this is called panning. And then zooming in and out. Um, also, there are these different views you can have. This is the top view, the front view, right, and perspective, which we have. OK. Also, on the bottom, you can see it's written solver paused. To perform calculations, activate the solver by clicking the engine button. On the left hand side, you can see this engine button. Uh, this basically means when you're creating a script, nothing will happen. But if I resume the solver, then it is constantly running. It's just like in AutoCAD, you just, if you just press LI, nothing will happen. You'll have to press enter, that is, you'll have to run the command. So this engine, right now it is paused, nothing will run. run. And if you turn it on, then it will keep running. Okay. So yes, let's begin and create your first script ever, which is simply a point. So in order to input anything, we create nodes. Double click anywhere on this canvas and you'll see this search bar that pops up and type in point. The first thing that you see is construct point. So just click on it. And you have created your first script. This is the first script ever that you've ever created. This is the first indeed. So on the right side, you can see that the point has been created. And when you click here, click this, this is called a node. This becomes, the point becomes orange, which means it is selected. So this is the theme of computational designing, of virtual scripting. There are these blocks, nodes. These are the building blocks of your entire script. And there will be many more such nodes, like point, line, move, so many more. And then you're going to connect all of these, which in turn will create your geometry. And you'll understand bit by bit what I mean by that. Now, this node, every node, uh, they've got inputs on the left hand side and output on the right hand side. So uh, every node runs a command. They have an inherent command in themselves. They need something to eat. They need something as an input and then they will run the command inside this node and then they'll give you an output. In this case, it is very simple. It is asking for X, Y and Z coordinates and it will give you a point on those on that coordinate. 
if you remember just previously we were looking at the x and y just simple two dimensional coordinate system and we had created a point 0 comma 1 and then 0 comma 2 so let's do that um, now how do we put in an input one way is to simply actually just put in the value here wait there is a method to do that yeah so you click on the um this number like hold your mouse till it becomes the i um, like this i symbol and then type in whatever you like so we want x equal to 1 y is equal to 0 so you can see the point has also moved you see it is moving so this is one way to input the number the other way is to create the number separately like in a different node so just type in the number you like and you can see there are two options number constant and there is range input so let's click on number constant and don't worry like just play with things um, in, in B graphy and computational design everywhere now to transfer this data of 1 to x we need to connect a line and that is done by click here drag and then release and if you want to undo it you can do control z and it runs the opposite way too it's the same thing and you can see the result on the top right corner and here also if i change it you can see that this is changing okay uh, so we need this now let's say I need to construct another point. So we can copy paste this. So like select it, control C, control V, and you get this. And you can see that this is also attached to it. Now we, do, we don't want it attached. So if you press control and click here, it will just get detached automatically. And we need two here. So I'll pause for a while. You put in two any way you like and try to use a range input this time like we know number constant but you use range input i think it's just like takes five seconds so you must have done already so i type in two i click on range input i get this which is uh, slightly different which looks slightly different than this the number constant thing but it will do the same function you can see now the second point has been created which is at 2 comma 0. Now the difference is in the number constant you use this arrows to control the uh, number and in this you can simply slide this and that will uh, change the number. Also you can see like as I am sliding the um, point is not changing if I release it only then it is changing. To make it real time go to the settings this gear and click on live calculation now the point responds to us in real time okay so for now we are just going to leave it to 1 comma 0 and 2 comma 0 as planned now i want to create a line so if you remember we are talking to the computer we are we are just telling it where the first point is located in the Cartesian system, where the second point is located using all those numbers, x, y coordinates. And now I'm going to tell the computer to create a line between these two points. So I'm going to double click, type line, uh, ignore all the things for now, but you can experiment that definitely later on. But for now, let's select the first option, which is this node. And here it is asking for two inputs and it will give me an output which is the line the curve so of course you know what to do so I'm, I'll allow you to do it and then I'll do it in like five seconds so I'm assuming you must have flowed through that so what we do is we take this point this is the first point orange point and we drag it and put it here and then we take the second point and put it here and our line has been created 
you can see this orange highlight as soon as I'm clicking the node. And then you can play with this, these numbers and see how the line is also changing with them. Congratulations, so this is your first line ever on the computational designing software. What we can do is put in numbers in Y coordinate and see what happens. Just play with it. So I want to create another range input and put it into Y. So I can do control C, control V, but I can also do, um, do the same thing using alt. So click it and start dragging it and then press alt. So you'll see a replicate being made. Okay, again, like I just tapped on Alt and I get this. As soon as I'm tapping it, like tap, uh, it is just leaving a copy of it on the canvas. And you can delete them, like select them and just click on the delete key. And to move around the canvas, you can use the right key, uh, right mouse button. I think you must have figured that out by now. So let's put this here and see what's happening to our line. You see our point is here, it has zero Y coordinate, but as soon as it is getting uh, some Y uh, value, it's going up. See this? Same thing here. And then you can play like anything. You can just uh, connect this to the Y of this. Also, you just observe as soon as I um, connected this, it uh, disconnected the old connections. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. And if you want, like, if you want to force connections, then you can press shift and do it. But we'll do that later on. Don't don't worry about it now. So explore what all you can do, and then what happens if you change this? Look at our line. And if I do this, and then. Wow, so cool. So it's almost like we are creating animations and yes, we can uh, create animations. Like you know, in Grasshopper, you've got Horster, which creates animations using these sliders. But sorry, I digress. But yeah, um, so just play with it and create more lines probably. And maybe one more point, sorry with some other number and then connect this point to the line and then we're almost getting a triangle so let's create another line and connect these two points to complete our triangle and then just uh, play <laughs> it always fascinates me even these small things really cool so yeah, I hope uh, this was a good introduction about computational designing, virtual scripting, how things work here. Very basics. Numbers go into the coordinates for points. The points go into lines, the starting uh, start point and end point of these lines. And uh, yeah, we just create these lines and connect it together. Create this triangle. So I hope this was uh, helpful and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.